Crash here. We're gonna get into episode two of uh, Draft Champions. Last time we were the San Jose Sharks. We made it to the third round. I cannot believe it. Unfortunately, did not make it all the way. And today, we're gonna do the Montreal Canadiens. If you are unfamiliar uh, with the series, go ahead, check out the uh, San Jose Sharks that I just did. Sorry, I completely just fucked up where I was going. But go ahead, check out the San Jose Sharks. The link will be in the description. And uh, basically, we fantasy draft. We, uh... Pick a team and try and win the cup. We have to have at least six players from uh, the original team. And the rest of the rules will be in the description as well. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. We're going to randomize it three times. And that's where we're going to pick. Hopefully, we get a pretty high pick here. Because we need uh, at least one of uh, Montreal's big players here in Price or Subban. And hopefully, as well, Pacioretty. So, we're going to need some help here for sure. So, that's one. That's two. And that's three. All right, we got number 10. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We might still be able to get PK in there. And uh, we're definitely not going to get Carey Price. He's going to go to the top three. But number 10, Montreal Canadiens. Let's get into it. So Carey Price did go number one this time. He went to uh, Carolina. Crosby, number two. Shea Weber, number three. And that's how everyone else played out so far. And uh, you know what? I got to go uh, I gotta go PK. I got to get that uh, big defensive player out of the You know what? Do I really have to? Oh, man. It's so close. Can I get, like, Malkin? Or I could... Look, I can get Jamie Benn. I can get Stamkos. I can get Ovi. Holy shit. This is... Uh, we're number 10. You know what? I, I gotta do it. I, I cannot risk that. I gotta get P.K. Subban. So, P.K. Subban, our first Montreal pick. He's gonna go number one for us. All right. Here we go with our second pick. And let's see who's available. Is Pacioretty still available? I highly doubt it. But I'll take a look. No, Pacioretty definitely not available. So, who do we go with? We gotta go with a center, I think. Who's a good center? Well, we got Pavel Datsuk still up there. The rule is I can't have the same number one. This is my number two. Uh, yeah. I mean, problem is salary cap. I already spent nine million of it on PK. Um, instead of Pavel Datsuk, guys, I'm actually just gonna go with Zetterberg. Uh, save myself 1.5 million. I love Pavel Datsuk, and if he's still available later, I might still pick him. But I gotta go Zetterberg, and he'll be our number one center. Okay, guys, time for a goalie, I think. I think it's time we get a goalie for sure. Uh, there's gonna be some pretty good names available. Yeah, Bobby Lou, uh, Corey Crawford. I went with Bobby Lou last time. I'm gonna choose a different goalie this time. So, who do we got? Anderson Bishop. I'm gonna go... Hmm. No, I'm gonna go Ben Bishop. Bring in the big guy. Ben Bishop's gonna be our goalie for the year. Okay, guys, next up, I'm going to pick Thomas Placanic. Uh Put him on the second line there as uh, another Montreal Canadian coming to the team. We need to start uh, getting that done. Datsuk is still available. Damn it. I can't take him yet. We do not have the uh, the cap space for him. So, uh, man, that sucks. I got to start looking at more uh, Montreal players, though. All right, guys, I'm going to end up saving myself some money here as PK takes up so much damn cap space. I'm going to pick Nikita Kucherov. Um, he could definitely put up some points for us here this year, playing next to Henrik Zetterberg. I'm going to bring back Keith Yandel this year. He did a great job for us last year, and I'd love to have him on the team again. I'm going to go Radom Vervata. All right, guys, I'm going to go with another defenseman here, actually. I'm going to go with Trevor Daly. Uh, he can be pretty solid back there for us. I, I mean, I could go with Chara, but he did absolutely nothing last year, and he was a minus player. We don't need that. If Markov is available. I'll take Markov. There we go. So that's our third Montreal Canadian. And uh, now we need to start looking at some offense. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to take Mike Camilleri. Um, unfortunately, he does not count as a Montreal Canadian, but hopefully he can put up a lot of big points for us. Oh, man, Tukarski would have been such a good pick, but unfortunately, shit, guys, he, uh, he did end up getting traded this year, so we can't pick him up. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to go with Alexi Emelin. Uh, 84 overall, only a 4.1 cap hit. Not as bad as Petrie, so we'll go ahead and pick him up. Okay, guys, and this is going to be our final pick, and uh, I have to go pick up Condon, the uh, the goaltender. I would love to be able to pick up Tukarski, but unfortunately, he was traded. He's not on the team anymore, so we're going to pick up Condon as the backup goalie. Uh, we're going to have a very weak backup goalie, unfortunately, as I'm pretty sure he's just an AHL starter. But uh, you know what, guys? He might be able to surprise us, and hopefully he's still there. That'd be horrible. Yeah, there he is. So Condon, and our team is officially picked for what I have. The computer is going to pick the rest, and uh, we'll see what the team looks like. And I'll, I'll meet you there. Okay, guys, and there you see the entire team. We got P.K. Subban, Henrik Zetterberg, and Ben Bishop, who are going to lead the way for us, and hopefully Ben Bishop stands strong. 
the six Montreal Canadiens that we got were P.K. Subban, Andre Markov, Alexi Emelin, Alex Semin, Thomas Plekanec, and of course, Condon in the back of position. And it uh, looks like they did a pretty good job for us drafting here. As, uh, we did get Bernier, Slater, uh, and Kukuk. And uh, they could definitely play some top tier minutes if we need them to. So let's go ahead, throw everyone in a line, and I'll let you see where uh, everyone ends up. Okay, guys, and here's the team. You got Nikita Kucherov, Henrik Zetterberg, and Radom Verbat on the first line. Second line is looking like Thomas Vlganek, Mike Camilleri, and Alexander Semin. So, I mean, definitely not as bad uh, as last year. If you uh, do remember, if you haven't seen it, we actually had a couple, uh, like, 77 and less overall players on the team. We have no one under 81, and that is great. Uh, top pairs can be Yandel and Subban, Daly and Markov, and Emily and uh, Erhoff. And, uh, I mean, the goaltending's not horrible. We do have Ben Bishop. Condon is rocky, and uh, he's going to need to pull out all the stops if he wants to help us win anything. But uh, Ben Bishop being our top goalie is really going to help us out, I think. And uh, this is going to be an interesting year for sure. Not the best team, unfortunately. Uh, salary cap issues played a big part in all my choices and uh, I'll go ahead, sim the preseason, and we'll uh, slow sim the first game before simming 27 games. Okay, guys, and here we are, game number one of the season. Uh, we went 3-3 three and three in uh, the preseason there, so it's not too horrible, but uh, definitely going to need Ben Bishop to stand strong. And we're going up against the Toronto Maple Leafs in game number one. After the first period, it's a 0-0 game, but we are doubling them in shots, more than doubling. Second period, finally, Nikita Kucherov makes it 1-0. Toronto has Chad Johnson in there. Very uh, interesting choice, as uh, there's some big names up there. They didn't get any of them. So we got 10 minutes left, and we are in the lead as, ah, uh, shit. Dupuy makes it a 1-1 game. That is not what I wanted to see. Come on, guys. Get the season started off right with a win. Come on, beat... Come on, you're rivals. you got to beat Toronto. No, Maroon. Oh, man. Oh, Placanic right back. Yes. Overtime, baby. I love it. Thomas Placanic saving us. Oh, man. And Henrik Zetterberg wins it in a shootout for the boys. And uh, we pick up two points at the beginning of the year. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and sim 27 games. But before I get into that, there's something I want to check out. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it yet. So I'm going to sim to the next game. I want to see uh, San Jose's team. I want to see what they look like. And I think this is going to be something I do for every episode. Just see how uh, the team that we were in the last episode. I want to check out their team. See if they did a better job drafting than we did. And uh, I also want to see where they end up. But uh, let's take a look at their squad. Okay, and this year's Sharks has Andreas Athena. See you. There you go. That Patrice Bergeron. Okay. Uh, Johnny Huberdo is a good pick. Patty Kane. Oh, goodness. And Okpozo. Oh, man. They did a good job. Solid, um team there but not great defensively which is kind of uh kind of where we did pretty well i mean our defense held us strong last year their highest rated defenseman is matt carl who do they have in net then they have to have someone big cam ward really so i mean they went with patty kane and okpozo and that's basically it i mean they got patrice bergeron so they have a really good uh, first line and other than that not the best looking team i think we did a better job guys Okay, guys, and here we are. We are 15, 7, and 4. We're doing great. Um, not, you know, perfect, but we're definitely in a playoff spot, and that's all that really matters. we got to make the playoffs, right? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Zetterberg with 25 points, leading the way so far. I love it. See how everyone else is doing. Is Alex Semin producing? I'd love it if he was. He has 12 points. It's not horrible, but uh, Verbatova and Camilleri both have 21. Uh, Plekanek with 16. Kuzhrov with 16. Uh, PK with 14. That's not horrible. All right, let's see how the goalies are doing. All right, so Ben Bishop is actually 12 and 6, Con in 3 and 1. Pretty solid for uh, AHL starters, so I'm happy with that. We'll go ahead and slow sim this game against uh, Washington, and uh, we'll sim another 27, see where we're at. First period here, it's a 0 0 game. Second period, 1 0. Chris Kunitz. All right, all right. And uh, you know what, guys? We're playing really, really well. Uh, a lot of wins in overtime or shootout, though, I've noticed. A lot. As Camilleri makes it 2 0. I'm not even sure who we're playing against, as Connor McDavid gets a goal. Oh my goodness, Connor McDavid playing for Washington. Okay, what a what a weird pick. Come on, guys, hold him off. One minute left, and we're going to pick up two more points, and we are uh, playing very well. And uh, I'll uh, go ahead. Again, we can only make a trade if we're offered a trade, and uh, so far, nothing. If a w someone comes up on waivers, we can pick them up if we want to. So we did pick up two points there, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just sim another 27. Maybe uh, if it's before that, I don't even know where we're at. But uh, if it is before that, the trade deadline, we'll send to the trade deadline, stop it there, and uh, I will meet you where we're at. 
All right, guys, and there we go. We are 31, 13, and 7. We're doing so well. We are number one in the division, and uh, so far, so good, guys. Take a look at the stats. Zetterberg with 47 points in 51 games. That is great. Vervada with 45. Camilleri slowed down production. He's down to 37. No big deal. Uh, PK picked it up, up to 33. Kucherov kind of slowing down as well, but uh, Alex Semin... Right? Another 12 points. I mean, if that's going to be where he is every time, that's that's no big deal. I'd be happy with that. I mean, if he would have done that in real life, he'd still be on the Canadians, I bet. But anyways. Okay, guys. And Alice Ovechkin leading the way. 60 points in 49 games. Tyler Sagan with 55. Getzlaff with 52. Stamko is all. Patty Kane all with 51. And uh, Crosby and Voracek and Tavares with 50. Let's take a look. I want to see. Pavel Datsuk has 48. So, I mean, it was between Datsuk and Zetterberg. I saved myself a little bit of salary picking up uh, Zetterberg. And he's only gotten one less point. I'm happy with that for sure. Guys, we're 42, 14, and 7 at the trade deadline. This is insane. The boys are so good. I cannot believe it. I am uh, I'm loving it, honestly. We were first in the league when we last checked. There's no doubt that we're still first. And we're leading by six points on everybody. Holy crap, guys. This is, uh, this is insane. Zetterberg up to 62 points. We only simmed about a month. Maybe we simmed less than a month. And he's up to 62 points in 63 games. Vrbata, Kamlari, Kucherov, Lukanic, Subban. And there's Alex Semin up to 33. So he's doing all right. Anyways, guys, here we are. This is the trade deadline. And uh, we're just going to go ahead, sim it, and uh, we'll see if we end up getting any trades. Now, the thing is, do we really want to make a trade? I mean, the team is playing so well. If, it, if we were to make a move or if we were to, like, get an offer, probably wouldn't be a big deal. Maybe something for the third or fourth line. So we'll see here. And uh, we'll just sim through it, see if anything comes up. Nothing came up, so no big deal. And uh, we'll take a look at the league leaders, get into one more game, and then uh, sim to the end of the season. And there you have it. Alex Ovechkin leading the way with 72 points, followed by Sagan, Crosby, Stamkos, Getzlav, and Kane. And Zetterberg's in there now. He's up near the top. Not quite where everyone else is, but I mean, he's in the top 10 there. That's nice to see. And uh, I just want to take a look, see how the goalies are doing one last time before we do sim the uh, rest of the season and uh, get into the playoffs. Oh man, Ben Bishop is 33, 9, and 5. Holy shit. Goals against average just above 2. And the save percentage at 9, 3, 0. That is insane. Condon not playing too horrible either. Doesn't look like he gets a lot of uh, goal support. Uh, he doesn't have a high goals against, so I don't know what's up with that. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into this game here against the Anaheim Ducks and then uh, simulate the rest of the season. After the first period, it is a 1-0 game. Letestu scoring on Bishop. Second period, 4-1. Oh, no. Christian Erhoff got a goal. And uh, they end up killing us, as they do have Carlson and Giordano. But holy shit, they killed us 7-1. That's not what I wanted to see. Oh, well. We're still in first place. No big deal. We'll go ahead, sim the rest of the season, and I will meet you at the playoffs. Guys, we fucking killed it this year. Can you believe this? I, I, I am I'm in shock. By how well we did, 122 points. 122 points. That is insane. We got the President's Trophy all wrapped up. That was that was great. Let's see how the boys did, but I cannot believe how well we did this year with the squad that we got. I mean, we have a good squad, don't get me wrong, but Zetterberg, more than a point per game. Verbat had 78. Oh, man, Semin had 47, so we did pick it up. And I'm happy with that. Semin, well done, my friend. Holy shit, what a year for us, guys. Let's take a look. And uh, we'll take a look at everyone's stats just to see how uh, Zetterberg fit in there. I'm interested to see how he did in the top uh, top scorers. I I presume Ovi got around 100 points. Same as Sagan, maybe Crosby. But uh, Zetterberg did pretty all right, and I'm happy with that. So Ovi, 114 points. Holy fuck. Oh, man, 56 goals. Then Getzlav, Sagan, Crosby, Zetterberg coming in fifth. Uh, just above Patty Kane. Holy shit, what a year for Zetterberg. I love it. And uh, let's find out who we're playing in the first round, guys. And we got the Washington Capitals. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at their squad. And uh, guys, let's take a look and see how San Jose did this year. I totally forgot to check that out. I'm interested just to see uh, if they made the playoffs. Wow, the Red Wings did really bad. In Pacific, they did not even make the playoffs. So clearly San Jose did a horrible job of drafting this year. And we did an amazing job winning the President's Trophy. We're going up against Washington. Let's take a look at their squad. All right, guys, they got OEL, Jamie Benn, Connor McDavid, Shifley. They got uh, Zach Cassian, who I could have picked. No, oh, technically, he got traded to Edmonton. I could not have picked him up. I apologize. Not the best-looking team here. Uh, Jamie Benn did not have a good year. 
which is good for us because if he's not going to put up points, and they only have Pavlek in that, who actually had a really good year, don't get me wrong, but uh, definitely not on the same level as Ben Bishop. We should be able to take them pretty easily. So guys, what's going to happen here is we're going to uh, slow sim the very first game, um, and then the next three will be uh, just sim, see where everyone's at, and then we'll uh, do the rest there. I think we're going to do pretty well. I mean, we got Washington, who didn't have a great year. Jamie Benn did not play great. They don't have an amazing goalie. We should be able to walk over him, no problem. Before we do get into this, please, I forgot to mention it earlier, let me know in the comments, who do you want to see next? We've done San Jose, now we're doing Montreal. Do you want to see maybe Columbus? Do you want to see Vancouver? you want to see Detroit? I don't care. Let me know in the comments. So I'm going to do a Twitter vote, as I did for this one for Montreal, and Montreal did win it out. I'll do another one. Make sure you're following me, and let's get into the game here. First period, it's a 1-1 game, Kunitz and McDavid. Second period, oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. That is not what I was expecting at all. Don't take him lightly, guys. Come on now. We're down 5-2 to two in game number one. And uh, Jamie Benn picked up two goals. Just as I was saying, he didn't have a great year. He's not doing much offensively. He scores two goals on Ben Bishop. That's great. Wonderful. Love it. All right, eight more minutes, and uh, we're going to go down here in the first game. Your final score was 6-2, to two, and Condon ended up having to take over for Bishop. That is embarrassing, and uh, let's uh, let's try and get that one back. All right, guys, in the next three games. Pick up some wins. No, another loss. Seriously? Holy crap. Washington. There we go. We got a win. Oh, my God. We're down 3-1. to one. We're fucking down 3-1. to one. Are you serious, guys? What are you doing? Holy shit. This is not okay. Come on. We are not going out in the first round. We won the President's Trophy, 122 points. First period, 1-1, Burakovsky and Erhoff, okay? Second period, 4-1. There we go, Bernier, Yandel, and Verbata. We end up taking this one 6-2 as 7 and Yandel. Also get on the board, and we're still alive, but why are we even in this position? All right, guys, we're down 3-1 in the series. Uh, man, I, I did not expect this at all. I thought we were going to have a cakewalk over them. Holy crap. Okay, first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, second period, 0-0. Zero, zero. They are dominating us in the shots. Come on. I need Zetterberg to get on the board. That's what I need. I need Zetterberg and Yandel and PK to step up and make this one go to Game 7. That's all we need. Oh, Shifley, no fucking way. Come on. Guys, we won the President's fucking trophy. This is not okay. Two minutes. There we go. Plekanic saves our asses, and we're going to overtime. Oh, my God. Okay, this is horrible. We drafted so well. We got the President's Trophy, 122 points. We had a top five scorer in Henrik Zetterberg. Come on, we got this. Let's sim it. Let's get a goal. I'm calling Keith Yandel right now. I'm gonna call Keith Yandel to get the game winner. That's my pick. And uh, he's gonna get one around the six minute mark. And uh, that's gonna be it. We're gonna win this one, move on to game seven. Here comes the goal. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay, Jamie fucking Ben. No way. Jamie Ben, of all players, I called him out. Fucking made fun of him for not doing well this year. And Jamie Ben knocks us out in the first round. Guys, I'm so sorry. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Seven of all players in the playoffs was our top player with six points in six games. Zetterberg was a minus three and didn't score a single goal. Well, I know I'm going to be looking to take Alex Salmon in the future because he uh, ended up exploding there for us. But uh, let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup, shall we? Your Stanley Cup champions are the Florida Panthers. We'll go ahead and take a look at their team right after this. Uh, the Art Ross went to Alex Ovechkin, the Hart to Ovi. The Norris went to Carlson, the Lady Bing to Tyler Sagan. The Calder went to Connor McDavid, no surprise there. Uh, the Con Smythe went to Mason, the Vezda to Jonathan Quick. Uh, the Jennings went to Lundquist, the Masterson to Nikitin, uh, the Selkie to Pavel Datsuk, of course. Uh, the Lindsay went to Ovi, and the Richard went to Tyler Sagan. And let's take a look at the Stanley Cup champion, Florida Panthers squad. Oh man, I'm so unhappy right now. I cannot believe that we got knocked out in the first round. Cannot believe it. Uh, they had David Backus, Dustin Bufflin, uh, Steven Stamkos. Okay, so yeah, they had a really good squad, actually. Holy shit. How do you have Stamkos, Neil, Backus, Bufflin, 
Larson, like, holy crap, who they have in net? And they had Mason in net. He did really well for them as well. Oh, well, guys, that'll end another episode of Draft Champions. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy. And let me know in the comments what team you want me to do next. Um, I think it's going to be between the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Edmonton Oilers, and the Dallas Stars, maybe? I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. Please let me know. Give me some ideas, and I'll get back to you on that. Make sure you follow me on Twitter so you can vote for what team you want to see next. And as always, I'll see you later.